Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best Peloton heart rate monitor on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best Peloton heart rate monitor. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Peloton bikes have become a popular piece of exercise equipment among fitness enthusiasts. In addition to offering many interactive training options, Peloton makes it easy to track several metrics of your performance, including your heart rate. However, a heart rate monitor is not included with your Peloton bike and must be purchased separately. Peloton makes one available for purchase, but many other heart monitors also work well with the Peloton bike. Skosh Rhythm 24 The Rhythm 24 has similar features to the Polar Verity Sense and the Wahoo Ticker Fit. It offers dual connectivity and solid battery performance, and it's comfortable to wear. This band distinguishes itself with LED lights on the band that indicate your heart rate zone so you can have a clear idea of how hard you're working out. The design is quite slim and the band is comfortable to wear for long hours. It's also splashproof, so you don't have to worry about sweating too much. It offers both Bluetooth and ANT Plus connectivity and can be used with a wide range of devices including the Peloton bike, smartwatches, treadmills, and tons of exercise machines. This armband accurately tracks your heart rate and cadence. You can upload your training data to hundreds of third-party apps that include Strava, Runkeeper, and MapMyFitness. The battery life is slightly shorter than that of the other two devices but still pretty good at 24 hours. Wahoo Ticker Fit Out of a handful of decent armband heart rate monitors for the Peloton bike, Wahoo Ticker Fit tops the chart. It's very accurate and can be as good as most chest straps. The biggest advantage of this product is that it's more comfortable to wear than a chest strap. You can wear the band on your forearm and upper arm, wherever you like. Due to its dual connectivity options, it offers wide support for different kinds of devices. You can use it with GPS watches, multiple fitness apps, 50 plus, on smartphones, or treadmills. This band goes beyond heart rate monitoring and also tracks calories burned in training zones. However, you will have to use the companion apps to get all the stats. It also has a rechargeable battery that lasts for more than 30 hours which is so far the gold standard in the market. The only downside is that you have to keep it connected to your smartphone while you're working out. As there is no onboard memory, the data is not stored on the device itself, but rather continuously broadcasted to the mobile app, or in our case Peloton bike. Peloton Heart Rate Like Shosh Rhythm 24, Peloton's own HRM armband also offers five multicolor LED indicators on the front to view heart rate zones. Plus, it has the advantage of the seamless connectivity with Peloton bikes and the app. However, it's not exclusive to Peloton machines only. One of its major downsides is connectivity where it only uses Bluetooth. So, if you're planning to pair with ANT Plus in addition to Peloton, you're out of luck. In addition to this, the band doesn't offer any onboard storage, and considering it costs the same as Wahoo, Polar, or Skosh, that's a big drawback. Peloton calculates your strive score based on the amount of time you spend in each heart rate zone. Blue means you're in zone 1, up to 65% of your max heart rate, green indicates zone 2, 65% to 75% of your max heart rate, yellow is zone 3, 75% to 85% of your max heart rate, orange is zone 4, 85% to 95% of your max heart rate, and red indicates zone 5, at least 95% of your max heart rate. One white LED in the middle of the display indicates that the band is in idle mode, meaning it's connected to a device, but doesn't detect a heart rate signal. The armband is comfortable and slim. It's also sweat and splash resistant, but not recommended for swimming. The battery life is on the shorter side at 10 hours, and here is another downside to this classy looking band. Skosh Rhythm Plus 2.0 Skosh Rhythm Plus 2.0 is similar to the Rhythm 24 Plus but with a few differences. First, the design is more comfortable and less bulky. Second, it's fully waterproof up to 1 meter so you can use it while swimming. 
Lastly, there is no onboard storage, but that doesn't matter as long as you use it for the Peloton bike. The Skosher 2 is a rather simple device in the grand scheme of things. At its core, you charge it, press the button to broadcast your heart rate via a and Plus and Bluetooth Smart, and then turn it off and charge it again at some point down the road. Rinse, literally, and repeat. While there's no storage on it like the Rhythm 24 for saving workouts, it can display heart rate zones. So we'll get into that too. To begin, the band has been changed on the R2 to match that of the Skosh 24. However, they've changed the plastic a bit to hopefully eliminate any clasp snap issues. While those were rare, they did happen to some people that were traced to specific sunscreens causing the plastic to become brittle and crack. I haven't ever had it happen to me, but figured it's worth mentioning that they've noted they've fixed that. Both these devices are released within a gap of a single year so they share a lot of things in common, however, if we have to choose between the two, we will pick the Rhythm 24 as the better device. Polar Verity Sense Polar is a leading name when it comes to HRMs, and the Verity Sense is one of the best armband heart rate monitors out there. This armband has a special feature that most other similar devices don't have, and that's the onboard storage. This means that you can use the device without being continuously connected to your smartphone or the Peloton bike. You can store more than 500 workouts on the device. Polar Verity Sense is extremely lightweight and comfortable to wear. Its unique design allows it to be connected to Swimmer's Google, so you can even use it for open water swimming. You can track your heart rate, pace, and distance. The battery performance is almost the same as the Wahoo Ticker Fit, and so are the connectivity options, Bluetooth and Aantic Plus. However, Verity Sense can be connected to two devices simultaneously. In a head-to-head -head comparison of Polar Verity Sense versus Wahoo Ticker Fit, the former wins for it offers swim tracking in addition to running and biking, suitable for triathlon. However, for a stationary bike, both straps offer the same value. Polar's HRM is slightly more expensive than Wahoo's so we will cast our vote for the latter if we have to pick between the two. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click down below and subscribe to my reviews expert.